we are working in purchases. We're going to hit purchases. We're going to be working with enter bill and pay bill today. We're going to hit enter bill. And we can either use the drop down box or put in the consumer's energy, or we can go down here and find another, or we can put in the letters that we want and it will show who we're going to be paying. We're going to be going back because this is the beginning of the month. We're going to add that it came in and we're going to add the invoice number and this is a utility. We're going to add a couple of letters or we can do a drop down box and as you can see, it will show the utilities because I've already added a couple of letters. We're going to add in an amount, double click, and we're going to add and save and exit. When it comes back here, we're going to go back into Detroit Energy and we're the GTE Energy, and we're going to go up to transactions. We're going to go up to bill. As you see, the bill is here. We can also add and create a new bill. We can go in here and edit this one. We're going to delete it. We're going to come back into DT. We're going to go up to transactions. We're going to go into bill. We're going to add new. All of the information comes up. We're going to go back in here and say that we received it. Put in the uh, invoice number. Put in the terms. We're going to use the drop down box, which has all of the listings of the accounts. We're going to come down here and we're going to find utilities. And we're going to be putting in the amount, double click so it comes into the expenses and we're going to put save and new. We're going to go up here and we're going to come in and we're going to do at and and we're going to go back and check and put in the invoice number. We're going to be putting in the first couple of letters because it's a telephone expense. And we're going to put in the amount that we owe. And we're going to save and exit. As you can see in the drop down box, we now have DTE and we have a total for AT&T. Go back into AT&T and see what is actually owed. Let's go up to transactions. And we see that there's two bills. Oh, there's something that must be wrong here because it shows that we owe one from way back in 2016. I don't think they would let us go two years without paying the bill. But we can go here, or we can go here to pay the bill. And we can either pay new bill from here, and it will bring us the box. Or we can go in the purchases, drop down, and put pay bill here. We put pay new. We're going to be checking, doing it with a check. You drop it down with the checking or on deposits. You put in the check number that you're going to be using. You click on the amount that you're going to be paying. If it's the one that we just added, we're going to uncheck this box and it's going to show us the invoice that we just put in for the end of September. This is the one that we're actually going to be paying. So it will show the amount here. It will show the total amount and we're going to be saving an exit. We can come back up here and we're going to also pay, we're going to go into DTE, 
I'm going to go into Transactions. We're going to pay the bill from here. We're going to pay new. We check. We're going to get it from the checking account. It automatically comes up with the next check number. Since we just added it, we're going to uncheck this. It will show the amount that we just put in for the invoice that came in last week. And we're going to put Save and Exit. Now, when we go in, we can actually go in here and pay the bill. We're going to pay this bill. And we can actually print the check from here. We come up to our printer. And if you have different printers in your office, you bring your change your printer to the drop down box to show your printers. Click on the one that you want and you click print. And it will print out the check that you just made. Don't forget to put your checks into the printer. We're going to close this out. We're going to go back in here and save and exit. And it will show that everything is back to original. And that is how we do the enter and pay the bill from the transaction box.